Hey, I'm Tom Gosey. It's hot and cold this week. Back at Project House. I feel tired. The crew, I hired a crew last weekend. They came in and we finished, they finished gutting. I'm just picking up the pieces, areas they missed, uh, pulling all the nails. Most of the nails are out. Uh, so we're now getting ready for the next phase, which is to replace windows, fix the floor. I took out the rest of the floor today that was kind of a mess and I was over here. I thought it was back far enough. And if I don't go into the basement, you can listen. Can you see that? Well, I'm gonna do this, you ready? <laughs> okay. I think I gotta fix that floor too. But we are gaining. Uh, so the next step is these, uh, we're gonna put a partition across here. This will be a master suite. 10 feet by 28 feet will be a bathroom and a bedroom. Uh, these two windows are going away. Uh, we're putting basically a three by four window in here, three by four window in here. We don't need this big a window. It just loses a lot of heat and uh, the mosquitoes are here. Um, so those will be over the next couple days before we take the windows out. All the vinyl had to come out. You know, it's amazing how much vinyl you can remove from a building by hanging out the window. I've got the whole back side of the building stripped where, or most of it, I should say, that um, is in the way of the window replacement. So that's done. Uh, I've been vacuuming all these uh, stud bays. We still have to cut this plastic out. Um, so that's all good. I went to, you know, I went to a uh, Habitat for Humanity restore. And if you have one nearby, it's always worth checking. It always stuff, their stuff always changes. And there's, there's good deals. I got a couple of nice interior doors. Yesterday, they're both new, although this one's kind of dusty. They, um, they're bringing them back. It poured like a son of a gun. Doors were okay. They got, the other side got cleaned. Uh, we're gonna put a window in here too, because this is gonna be like a living room area. So there'll be a window right here. That's gone, so the wall will be here, window here, window there. Uh, we found that we have leaks around the chimney. I don't know if I said that last week, but we're slowly getting that sorted out. Probably the biggest design change, and we're into design phase, we're trying to get this set up before the spray foam guys come, which is about 10 days from now. We have to have all these windows done and in place because they're gonna be spraying the cavities. Um, this wall's going away. So from where those doors are over there to this outside wall all the way over here will be big open space, kitchen, dining, great room kind of area. Uh, converts the house from three bedrooms to two bedrooms. We don't need three bedrooms. It discourages our kids from coming to stay with us and uh, that's all good. So this wall is coming out, the, the, there's, there's a, there's a sequence of things, okay? All the plywood's over here against the wall is coming out, so I had to finish the floor. So I could put the plywood down. So this afternoon, if I ever get back to solid wood, um, I'll get the floor down, get the plywood off the wall, and then I can start tearing that wall down, which won't take long. It's a lot easier to do demo when the drywall's off. So that'll, that'll work. The one room, one area in the building still has electrical outlets that function is this room. These will come out today as well and I'll have to rig up at least a outlet in a interior wall. All the exterior walls will have surface mount which we'll put in after the foam is done after the drywall is in place. So interior partitions of which there aren't many uh, I can wire now if you know in my spare time but we'll get a couple of outlets in at least so we have some power to work with up here instead of running extension. Well, actually all the power is disconnected except for this. Probably, oh, the other big thing, which I've wasted, is wasted the right word, a week on, is getting a new well pump in. We've got a Gould's well pump in the process of getting the pump rigged up. We found we had to replace the wire for the pump. So we just finished running the wire into the house I'm going to change the controls, put new controls in, but we have water. The water flow looks good. I've got test kits coming, so we're going to test the water. 
We're going to disinfect the well, and um, that's a step. I mean, that's, that's good. I think I mentioned last week as well, we have no leach field. Leach field guy was here this past week. We have a design for the leach field. We're going to start scratching around for that. So <clears throat> right now it's a little overwhelming. There's a lot of stuff going on, but it's all going to start to get a lot simpler. Ten days from now, after the spray foam is done, drywall guy comes in, hopefully within a day or two. Once it's drywalled, then we really can start to crank on getting uh, some of the interior stuff finished. But right now, windows are most important. Going to get them sorted out this week. Next 10 days, we've got to get that done. The, uh, the leach field will start, hopefully without a lot of input for me, because I have to do the rest of this. So that's it for now. More to come. Uh, we're discovering where the roof is leaking, but we knew the roof leaked. So I keep forgetting to get a bundle of shingles to fix where shingles were missing or blew off. So I, that's on my list. I have to keep lists. So anyway, you keep a list. Make sure you check Hot and Cold TV regularly here on, you, on the YouTube. You know, the kids all know about it and love it. So you should too.